Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In this tutorial, I will explain to you step by step how to delete and create a Windows recovery partition in Windows 11. Of course, the recovery partition is essential for troubleshooting and restoring your system. There are situations where you need to recreate it, for example, after upgrading the storage drive or dealing with a corrupted partition. Okay, let's start quickly. Right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. From here, you can manage your hard disk. We have a healthy recovery partition, and the partition space will vary from one computer to another. In any case, we will learn how to delete the recovery partition and also how to create it again. The first thing you need to do is open the Command Prompt window as Administrator. And I will execute some commands through which you can delete and create the recovery partition again. Enter the command reagent C slash info, and once you execute the command, it will show you basic details about the recovery environment and its status, and also display the disk and partition number for the recovery files and the location and path of the recovery partition. All that matters now is that the recovery partition is enabled, and to temporarily disable the recovery environment on your system, you can disable the Windows recovery partition. So enter the command reagent C slash disable to ensure that the Windows recovery partition is disabled. After disabling recovery, I will now list the partitions using disk part. Enter the command disk part and press enter to launch the disk partition tool. And to list all drives, enter the command list disk to display all your drives. I have only one disk, which is disk zero, then select the disk that contains the recovery partition and enter the command Select disk zero. Then enter the command list part to display a list of all partitions on the currently selected disk. After that, select the recovery partition. And in my case, it is partition number five. So enter the command, select part five and press enter to select recovery partition. After that, enter the command DT part to display detailed information about the currently selected partition including its type, size, offset, attributes, and the drive letter or mount point associated with it. The most important information for me is the type and attributes, so copy both the type and attribute and save them in a text file, because we will need them later during the process of creating the recovery partition and recovering it again. Then enter the command DL part override. This command will delete the selected partition even if it is protected or contains data, this command should be used with caution because it bypasses warnings and cannot be undone. By executing the command, the partition will be deleted. By returning to the disk management window, you will find that the recovery partition has become unused. In other words, it has become unallocated. So I will partition it. Right click on it and select new simple volume. In the new simple volume wizard, click next. Leave the partition space as it and click next. To assign a letter to the partition, leave it as it and click Next. Leave the format type as it and click Next, and finally click Finish. A new partition will be created with the letter E. The next step is to learn how to create a recovery partition again on the same hard disk. By returning to the CMD window, enter the command List Part to display a list of all partitions on the currently selected disk. After executing the command, now you will not find the recovery partition available because it has been deleted and another partition created instead of it. To create a recovery partition on the partition again, enter the command SEL part 5. You can specify another partition in its place, but I will specify partition 5 so that no data is deleted because I know that partition 5 is an empty partition and has no data. Then enter the command set ID and copy the type that we saved and paste it in front of it and press enter to execute the command. This command will change the type of the section that you selected. Sorry, it may seem that the command was entered incorrectly. Write the same command, but without Ninus, and it will be executed without any problem. Then enter the command GPT attributes and copy in front of it attrib that we saved in the text file. Sorry, it may seem that the command was entered incorrectly. Type the same command, but without Manus and it will be executed without any problem. With this step, the partition was created and the recovery partition was also restored again on the same partition. 
Enter the command exit to exit the disk partition tool. Before closing the CMD window, you must make sure that everything is fine and that the recovery partition is working without any problem. Enter the command reagent C slash info to view the status of the recovery partition. Now, I have that the status of the recovery partition is disabled, so it must be enabled and to enable the recovery partition. Enter the command reagent slash enable. After enabling the recovery partition successfully, you can check again by entering the command reagent C slash info to view the status. The recovery partition has already been enabled. Enter exit to close the command prompt window. By returning to disk management, you will find that the recovery partition has been created again. You must keep copies of both the type and the attribute and save them in a text file so that you can restore the recovery partition again. Knowing how to delete and recreate a Windows recovery partition is an essential skill for anyone who wants complete control over their system recovery options. The recovery partition plays a crucial role in troubleshooting and restoring your system when things go wrong, ensuring that you have a reliable safety net. Thanks for watching, and if you found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay updated with more tutorials. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.